Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, trying to adjust the camera and make sure the screws are all tight enough that it doesn't fall down. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. Um, I changed the orientation of everything. Um, yesterday when I did a live, and that kind of... Um, loosened the screws that were holding it a certain way. And let me get my stencils kind of over to the side here. I'm, um, I'm still kind of straightening my desk from all of the, uh, <laughs> the stuff I had on it. And today, I, the um, this this layout is only for thirty days of sketches, and there is a sketch here by Amaryllis Doria for Creative Scrappers that is just deceptively simple. It's got what looks like a double layer of doilies, and then a couple photos and a floral cluster here and an an um journaling cluster there. I'm actually going to write my journaling on whatever white space is left over here. I'm going to embellish around the doily and over on this side. And I have a strange photo here that is one that I don't mind um, over embellishing the page. In fact, I really ought to put it over here and put the floral cluster here because there's this kind of ugly blank space there, and this isn't so bad. What this photo is, is my laptop. It's not the one I have now, an act actually an older laptop that had a, a wider screen. And, and I, John's and my desk, we, we, we use the same desk and we, our computers back to back, back to, <laughs> Our computers were back to back with each other. And so when I sat at my desk looking at my computer, his little head was peeking <laughs> up above both of our computers and he was working. And as I took, this is how I used to photograph my layouts. This was 2012 was when I made this. Well, 2012 was when the photo was taken. I'm gonna guess that it wasn't till maybe 2013. 20, 11 and 2012 were spent pretty much renovating the place so we could live in it. And then I actually started doing some scrapping around 2013. And that's when I started going wild with, um, this was a Fisker's Fuse tool that embossed and, and printed and cut all at the same time. And I think I have some Cricut stuff in here and I loved, um, bling that came in those little sticky shapes and I don't know I just went nuts this was certainly a more is more page and it may have been the first one that I did I was kind of just beginning to figure out my style then so anyway the page isn't what's important what's important is that little head <laughs> And I, I, the, I just kind of put down here, I missed this view. And it didn't print very well. I'm going to say this is not Epson printer paper. I bought this on the recommendation of someone whom I will not name. And I'm not happy with it. Um, so I'm pr I, I, I have learned the lesson in the past. And I need to pay attention to the lesson if you have a printer of a certain brand, that's the brand of paper you should use. <laughs> and un unless I've had pretty good luck with not off-brand, but high-quality brand, but non-Epson matte paper. And that's my preferred paper to use because it, do it doesn't get all shiny when I photograph my layouts. So I'm gonna stop preaching I have a giant um, doily here. 
and I'm just going to anchor it in a couple places and let the rest of it kind of be loose. And I have a bucket here of miscellaneous floral die cuts, ephemera, things that have florals um, that I kind of need to use and, and they don't match. And I'm gonna say that's okay for this layout. I'm gonna pull, I've got this full pack of ephemera and this full sticker pack thing. And this is a, a collection that I, I think it's Chamel maybe, um, or Paige, an early Paige Evans that I uh, fussy cut these flowers from. That's where, the, where I have that many of the same design. I'm probably gonna put those to the side. And what I'm going for are the one-offs. And I've got a butterfly in here, so I may as well use that. So like all kinds of mismatched things. There's a lot of Maggie Holmes stuff in here. And then this was fussy cut, I think, from an early Vicki Booten pattern that she says uh, she wasn't involved that much in the design of her earlier collections. But yeah, so anyway, we're, we'll go through that and we'll do a, a mishmash of different flowers. And then I'm gonna grab Calvin Ball points that are handy without consulting the list. And I will come up short. I won't have all the points that are available, but I want this to be, you know, kind of a nice layout. So I have put some foam behind here. And like I said, I'm gonna put it right here so that the florals that I build up over on this side, I'm gonna use this to press it down so I don't rub the ink off of that no name paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna start piling on flowers. That's not a good one to start with, actually. I even have this. This could probably pass for a sunflower. So since that's John and he loves sunflowers, I'm gonna actually put that on the photo. And then pull that out. I don't know what that is well, this could maybe go I I don't think I'm going to use it any which way other than kind of tucking down under and I'll do one at each end and I'll burnish it with my tweezers There. Okay. I'm going to put that off to the side. And now I'm just going to grab I'll take this piece of ephemera, put a pop dot, a foam dot behind it, and kind of stick it maybe right there, okay? Um, kind of random-ish looking. And then let's take this not so pretty, I hate Maggie Holmes flowers. I don't, don't, don't tell anyone because I love Maggie Holmes and I love so much of what she does, but to me, not my, not my, not my jam. So I'll put it there so that I can layer other things on top of it. I've got this little cluster here. Okay. 
I'm going to do it that way. Now I need something bright before I start getting depressed. Oh, let's see. Those are too big. I got to get this out of there. That's part of a project kit. I saw, when I first opened this up, I saw a whole bunch of things that were just perfect for what I had in mind, and then I've kind of lost them by shuffling through. Okay, I'm going to cut this guy in half. I'm going to kind of tuck that behind there. I like that soft aqua color, but it has um, kind of a border around it that kind of works with um, with the beige stuff that I have in there. Beige. I've used beige. Here's a It's kind of big, but I don't hate it. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut, cut them apart, and I'm gonna tuck this one in. I see I have another beigey one, and that's a Paige Evans flower. Sneak that in there. I'm gonna hide that leaf. That leaf isn't pretty enough that I need to worry about putting it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. like that. And I still want to use this, but it kind of needs to be layered over something other than white. But no, I think it would be, be okay. And what I'm trying to do is uh, the um, uh, rule for Calvin Ball to get a point is uh, 10 or more flowers, and so I'm kind of trying to get to there. I don't know, like one, and you know, these little pieces right there have plenty. I think I'm going to have 10 by the time I do my arch around here. I've got this one which can be cut in half and layered under this guy. And actually, I'm gonna layer the other piece without the leaf. And I'll smash it down. And then this guy can go here and maybe something, maybe that's where the butterfly goes. So we will put the butterfly there. And I've got this flower. I'm going to actually move it up under here just to extend the floral um, arch there. I'm going to happily put these away. There is a reason I don't go to this for... Um, flowers. I, I go to more current collections. 
these are just not my favorites and I need to either use them or get rid of them. <laughs> use them or lose them. Okay, I have been waiting for the rule to come to use a hot air balloon and it came today. So I have a hot air balloon from Bramble Fox just sitting here waiting to be used. And I think I'm just gonna kinda start kinda moving things around. I've got a snowflake here that um, I'm gonna do kind of a, a, um, a grouping of circular elements. I've got this little um, sloth, which needs to be, let's just do it down here. I'm gonna do the sloth and the snowflake and the catacorn down here. Kind of tuck that guy under the flowers. And the catacorn kind of be there and I'm gonna put it on a foam dot. And then I'm gonna put this little snowflake from Warm Wishes by Vicki Booten. And it's chipboard, so I get the chipboard point and the snowflake point, and it's gold, so I get the gold point. And I get the sloth, and I get the unicorn point there. I've got this frame, which I thought I would use kind of this way. And maybe... Well, actually, I think I'm going to do it this way, and then I'll okay. And I have a, this part of a party hat. I don't need to use it on here. I have a cut file heart. That would be kind of goofy. Um, let me Cut it out, and I'm going to actually color it. Actually, no, I'm not. I think it will look better if I leave it white and then just maybe do some, um, like a piece of flare or something. And I might lift it up. I have a um, another kind of a sunflower with a um, a cute little. Let's see. Oh, come on. With a cute little ladybug on it, and I. With this flower, I covered up a picture of Katie Bug, so it's only right that I should put it back. And I can do this. I'll put it like that. 
And then I can put this maybe, do I want it under it, around it? I was thinking I would, I was gonna actually get one that didn't have a picture on it. I was gonna glue it on and let it kind of be stood up by that. And then I can tuck something else underneath it as we go along. So we'll see if that works out. I'll just kind of place it there and it'll stand up and let me find something else. I need tropical greenery and wood veneer. So I'm thinking this piece of wood veneer with representing a tropical leaf. I'm thinking that's good. And I know you're gonna ask me where that came from and I honestly don't know. I should have kept the packaging um, I buy lots of wood veneer in oddball departments at uh, hobby stores, and I also order from people who make custom designs, and I mix it all up in a single bin so that when I need wood veneer, I can find it but that doesn't help me know who made it. Okay, um, I have a black hedgehog. Do I want a black hedgehog? Probably not. I'm going to go for one of these cute little hedgehogs. And I, have, I can see a rainbow in here and a camera. This is where I kind of keep a little tub. I have several tubs of um, Calvin Ball point, point grabbers, I used to call them. And I've got this um, ticket that I keep tearing so I could do something of a cluster of these things. also have a cactus, a little bucket of cactuses here, and I could maybe use one of these and put some little points on the tub. I like that so well that I'm going to do that and let it kind of be a major element. I'm putting, I like putting larger elements around and then tucking little things in between. But if I can even do something like, for example, one of the things I can do here is I can slide this camera underneath both of those things. So that becomes more of a cluster. And then if I find something small, smaller, I can put, put it up there. Okay. Uh, let me put this guy back in here. And in here I have, um, I have a vellum cloud. So that gets me a vellum point, and that would be kind of cute right there, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna do that. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do this, um, this is a shamrock shape that I pulled in one of my uh, watercolor experiments that I did a while back. Let's see. So that will be just part of that cluster. And don't you think we need an avocado in there as well? I 
I know I should have cut this out beforehand. I'm not even doing a very good job of it. Um, I can tuck the avocado in right there, and he hardly shows, right? Um, where did that, okay, here's my cloud. I need the vellum cloud to not buckle. So I'm gonna kind of rub the glue on just so it's tacky. And I'm gonna kind of put it right here behind the cactus. I'll put that there. I have a unicorn, but I don't need one. I have a shamrock, but I don't need one. So I'm, I've used all that I need there. Here is a paper clip. I'm gonna turn this back straight and I'm gonna glue that paper clip right there on the photo. I'm probably missing an opportunity to put a um, something else behind it. I've got paper clips in here. I should have used this one because it has glitter, but I'll find glitter from someplace else. I have some silver washi, and here's silver washi with stars, and I don't know how I'm going to use that yet. Um, I have a layered sticker here that has a, well, the ones I made are, are butterflies. Okay, here's where I'm going to use the globe. Actually, no, I'm going to use this, this, these layered pieces of candy. Um, it's a, and I might use it kind of right here. It's labeled 3D stickers and there's, um, uh, usually a piece kind of underneath there, but that wasn't the case here. I'm just going to kind of squinch this ticket back. behind the cactus and you know you wouldn't expect a ticket behind a cactus and i know that and everybody who plays calvin ball knows that but it doesn't necessarily matter whether you'd expect it or not that's actually kind of half the fun is not expecting i want to put the rainbow by the cloud, that's just my tendency, but instead, I'm gonna put it down here by the ticket, and I'm gonna put the hedgehog on the, the little wooden holder that's holding that um, cactus. And I don't know that that makes any sense, but I do need to reach for some dots. I wonder if I could get the polka dot point because the reverse of my hedgehog is polka dot. I don't think it works that way. Let's see. I'll do that. And then I probably need a flare of some sort to kind of sit down under there. I like this kind of pretty colorful one. So I'm going to put it there. And that gives the, the hedgehog something to sit on. 
Okay, now, I need stamping on there, and I'm going to stamp this little uh, gnome and mushroom. I may change the positions of them. so that the gnome is standing over here close to the, the cactus. And let's see, let me put this back here and this back here. I'm really trying to keep a fairly orderly desk during this Calvin ball. And I've been pretty good about reorganizing at least once a day. Okay, that wasn't a good job of stamping and doily paper may not be the best choice for stamping on. So, lesson learned. Um, so, I'm going to stamp the duck and the pineapple on. Um, I usually keep a little bit of cardstock around. I can do that off camera. Here we go. Here we go. Um, actually not cardstock that's photo paper but who's counting I'm getting rid of that photo paper oh I didn't do a very good job of that there we go and I'm gonna fussy cut these and kind of take a look around and see what else I might want to include I, this is one of those where I'm going to um, clearly uh, admit that I'm not going to have all the points, and I'm going to let that be okay in the interest of moving on. I have um, uh, at least three more layouts to make today. I have quite a few uh, doctor's appointments this week, and things that will keep me away from the house where I can't be sure that I'll get to something the day of or the day before. So I kind of have to do them ahead of time. And Sunday usually is the day that I can work on stuff like that. So right after this, I'm going to be doing my Scrap Backwards uh, weekly page, and I, at, as I'm doing that with my Scrap Backwards kit, I'm going to be doing my surprise challenge that I added to the cyber crop last night, and I'm going to be using the um, uh, 30 Days of Sketches um, sketch for tomorrow. So I've got a lot of kind of coordinating, and then that's going to be another one that I do Calvin Ball points as as I remember them and grab them, not necessarily checking the list. And I will, but I then have one to do for Stash Dive Tuesday. And that one will have all the points I've decided. So that's one that I'll probably go through and do all the points. So I need a fairly large, two more larger uh, cluster anchors, if you will. I'm gonna kind of sneak that in there. And I'd like the, this guy to sneak in that way because it's smeared 
over on this side and I'd like to hide that. So I'm gonna to try to sneak it in here behind the ticket and the cactus. There we go. Okay. And let me see if I need any of these things. Heart, um, I don't have a heart on there now. Yeah, there's a heart, a heart on the gnome's apron. Star, do I have a star on there? Uh, what about puffy sticker? This camera is a puffy sticker. And I don't have a star, but I don't want to blow my puffy sticker. Um, star. I will find a star. I'm going to pull out my one of my silver stars um, so that I get that silver point. And I'm going to kind of put it over here and let it complete this little cluster over here. That seems to be okay there. Um, there's a bee. I've got a ladybug um, already over there. So I'm gonna add a B to something somewhere. Maybe I'll put it over here to cover up where my ink, the edge of my stamp block when I stamped this guy kind of hit and made a smudge right there. Now there's also a, um, a Disney point and I have my Disney stuff in here. And there is a, a yellow and blue used together point. So let me see if I have anything that's blue. I know what I'll do. I'll go look for a blue house in my little box of houses. Um, I see something blue here. This one is its not small enough. It's a little too big. Here's a tiny little cute blue house in this row of houses right here. And actually, I could use that blue house. That's actually a, a long series of buildings. But if I could find a larger blue house, that could be one of my larger anchors here. I see a blue flower shop, vegetable shop, buildings that are blue, but not houses. Um, this is a group of buildings that I can cut this blue house out of. I'm going to cut it into that and then I'll have to cover it up and I'll just toss that because it's not usable now. Um, and I may keep this little blue house here just for the hell of it. Let me put a little foam behind this to give it some body, if you will. I'm going to put it right here, and then I can cluster some things around there. Like, for instance, I'll put this smaller house. I don't need it for points, 
but it will kind of help make um, uh, a little neighborhood kind of a look there. And I'm going to, who says your neighborhood can't have Mickey ears sticking out behind the houses. Place that right there. So that's blue and yellow used together. And now I need a small, tiny something or other. Um, and I, I lied and told you that I wasn't going to consult the um, list, but I am just to see what I can put right there. Um, let's see, mouse, pineapple, mouse, mouse, I need, well, that's my mouse, that'll work. Um, dog, I don't have a dog on here. So let me look and see in my stuff here. If I have a dog that would work, I have the tail end of a dog of one type of dog. Okay, I have a dog here. Oh, dinosaur. I'm gonna do go with dinosaur because the dog is too big to use where I want to use it, but the dinosaur may be the right size. Okay. And the dinosaur I'm going to use is this pterodactyl here because it's small. Okay. And it will, I think, will fit in nicely. And it's blue. So when I put it up next to the yellow Mickey ears, it'll, it's kind of that blue and yellow together is, it's just reinforced there. Okay, there. And then I might have the dog, this little dog peeking out from the other side of it. But I want the pterodactyl there on the roof of one house and right by the window of the other one. Let me get that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So now I have this little party dog and I'm actually gonna cut, no, I'm gonna leave the hat. I'm gonna leave the hat on because that's, that gets me the birthday point. And I usually have the mouse with the party hat, but I'm gonna go with the mouse ears instead. I'm gonna just kinda of cut this guy roughly. They usually have a llama in the rules, and they don't have one yet. So I'm gonna kind of have this guy underneath the um, underneath the doily. There you go. Okay, so I need one more kind of an anchor right here. There is a book point and I've got, I usually have book related things in here. Here's a book. Oh, I like this stack of books better. Um, I'm 
I need an arrow. And I've got some arrows in here. Uh, let's see. That's kind of an ugly arrow. This arrow has stars. I'm not loving these arrows. So, uh huh. That is. I could do that and then something else down there. These are some special like Calvin Ball icons. Let me see if there's anything I may have missed. The uh, coffee or tea. I've got some coffee cups in here. There's this kind of teacup looking thing, or there's that one. Oh, I like this one. It's a sticker. I think that's Amy, I mean, uh, um, Paige Evans. Okay, we don't have pandas in the list yet, or buttons, and I could use, or, and we don't have frogs either. Okay, so I've got, um, enough, I think, to make this last cluster. So I'm going to put this acrylic arrow down, and I'm going to put the glue under the part that is going to be hidden by the book. Okay, so it's going to go there. And then this will go on a dot. We're almost done, yay! Do that. And then this sticker, I think, might need to go on some foam just to give it a little structure so it doesn't bend out of shape. And then I may need a dot to hold up the bottom of it. Oh, come on. And then a little bit of glue on here to stick it to the books. Oh, come on. That's over too far. It's not sticking to the sticker. That's a, an annoying situation. So I'll put some glue in case so that it doesn't come apart later on. This is from one of those really thin sticker books. Oh, come now. See what I mean? I'm just gonna put that there. And now I'm gonna do sequins and enamel dots, and that's it and bling. Sequins, enamel dots, and bling are all on the, um, on the list. And let me pull a pretty, let's, here's a sequin mix called Call Me Crafty. So, I'm going to put a bling piece um, let's say right here, and another one right here, 
And another one, maybe up, uh, let's see. It might need to be right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back with an enamel dot, and it's gonna be a goofy color match, but um, it won't matter. There's every color in the universe on here. Let me put those back. And now I'm just going to put a sequin. And there are some really pretty coppery looking uh, swirly sequins in here. I'm, I'm going to use three different ones. So right here I'll put this, um, come on. I'll put the teal, and right here, I'm gonna put this coppery color. And up here, I will put a kind of, um, dark pink color. Such unusual colors in this mix. I love it. These are, that's one of my newer uh, acquisitions. Okay, so did we get the tropical leaves and florals in there? I don't think so. So I'm gonna, and I don't think we got washi tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fussy cut um, a tropical floral from this and put it right there. There's a hibiscus right there and it's got um, all the same colors that are in the, the stack of books and the um, and the, the coffee cup. Okay. And I'm just gonna kinda tuck it there as a little bit of color. Put it in this way. I'll put it like this. <laughs> and I'll let it stick to the acrylic. Oh, come on. There we go. It can stick to the acrylic arrow. And that finishes the page. And I'll count up the Calvin Ball points later. I don't have a film strip. I haven't done any doodles, but doodles and handwriting are something that I can add uh, after, but I will tell you that I'm not going to go back and add a whole bunch of other stuff. You may find uh, one or two extra things on here when you see it posted, but for the most part, that's it. Stayed fairly true, although I didn't leave that much of my um, doily showing. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.